Today's students live in a world of technology, full of the digital tools they use to navigate their lives. Well, I use my television, um, video games, radios, um, pretty much basic things that uh, anyone using at home. I love to go on the computer at home. I get on the computer a lot. Like, I talk to my friends and I do homework on the computer. Yeah, I really like to use my computer and my phone and my iPod. <laughs> as our students move forward toward college and careers, they will be using these same tools, as well as many more that have yet to be created. Whether they go on to college, choose careers in the military, or take jobs with international companies, our students will be expected to think critically, communicate and collaborate with team members, and find innovative solutions to problems, all accomplished with the help of technology. What can our schools do today to make sure our students are ready for tomorrow? That's the story we're here to explore. Maryland schools have made great progress in making technology an integral part of the everyday work of our teachers and students, yet... The unfortunate thing is education has not caught up with where our children is as far as technology. So it's important that you have technology in schools and that is placed there because children learn by this method. Using technology effectively means much more than knowing basic computer skills or using Google to search the internet. It is not just the ability to be able to understand a keyboard and to be able to send an email, but to be able to do the kind of analysis and research that students need to do to enhance learning, to be able to do the kind of critical thinking that's associated with the real use of technology. There are schools where this kind of learning is taking place. Schools such as Vincent Farm Elementary School, a Maryland school that believes that technology is a tool that it can help you solve problems. So what we're going to infer is what the people in the story are feeling or thinking. Can you do that with me? You get to go on tumble books and you can read stories and we're reading Don't Forget to Come Back. Students are minds on as they watch and listen to this online story, searching for clues that will help them read more deeply, a skill they will use throughout their lives. Awesome. This activity uses technology as an integral part of the learning language arts skills for these first graders. It enriches the content and engages students. Technology is not an end in itself, it's something to support the content instruction you're already having. Explore some other Other examples of excellence in making technology a valuable and essential aspect of instruction shine throughout the state, where staff and administration take great care to seamlessly integrate content learning with technology tools. I teach a unit called On My Own, which integrates uh, social studies. Um, it brings in math. Um, it also brings in language art skills. And the big connection here is for them to be able to experience as much as being on your own as possible. So they have to come up with all the expenses that adults use and budget for every month. It would be very difficult if we weren't using technology resources to be able to simulate some of those experiences for them. When they go home, technology is their world. When they come to school, they just want to operate freely in the same world that they've been operating in. And if we teach using some of the same technology that they use at home, they're, they're relaxed and they're engaged into the, um, the curriculum area because they're using the medium that they're used to using. Technology can also help teachers meet students' individual needs, either in online classes offered through the Maryland Virtual Learning Opportunities Program and distance learning classes that bring instruction to students in different locations, or through assistive technology that addresses the challenges of students with special needs. Order. Very good, thank you. It's important for our students to be technologically literate because this is the world they're entering when they exit from our school system. Schools such as Patapsco High School and Center for the Performing Arts take this responsibility seriously, preparing students for careers that didn't even exist 20 years ago. Biotechnology is really kind of our new industry. I mean, this is where the jobs are, and this is where the funding in the future is going to be. Here, in one assignment, 
students search for the source of a food poisoning scare, using sophisticated technology to find the DNA fingerprint of the disease-carrying bacteria. Perfect. Today's classrooms quickly become tomorrow's workplaces. The students you've seen here are on a path to success. They've benefited from three important conditions for learning. Good teaching, good curriculum, and the appropriate use of technology. What do you need to do to ensure that same success for every Maryland student in every school?